This is the Jumper T16, and in this video, we're going to upgrade the gimbals. These are the Hall Sensor gimbals, which are a slight upgrade to the potentiometer gimbals that came with the radio. So what we're going to have to do here is open up the radio and replace the gimbals. This isn't too difficult, but um, you're going to have to make sure you keep track of all the screws. You can pull these rubber flaps off the back, and there are screws behind those, so make sure you don't miss those. Pull off the top plate and pull out the battery. Now you can pull off the back cover and unplug the gimbal. Before you can get to all the screws, you need to unscrew this potentiometer. After you've done that, there are four screws holding the gimbal in. Remove the stick ends, and let's have a quick comparison. The hull sensor gimbal is on the left, and the original potentiometer gimbal is on the right. Now make sure you put the right gimbal in, because you want your throttle gimbal to be on the correct side. So while I replace the second gimbal, um, let me explain a little bit about what the difference is between a potentiometer gimbal and a hull sensor gimbal. So a potentiometer gimbal uses a mechanical brush which rubs up against a surface, and this can cause wear over a period of time. And a hull sensor gimbal uses magnets, and it's um, potentially more accurate, but it wears much better over time and should last a lot longer. And before closing the radio up, make sure you plug both gimbals in. And you can take this opportunity to adjust the tension of the gimbals by um, loosening and tightening the screws. You also want to um, put your stick ends back on. And we're done, all back together. I replaced the sticker and now we can calibrate the gimbals. Turn your radio on and press the system button and press page four times. Once you've gotten to the calibration option, press the roller and then put everything to center position that means both gimbals as well as the pots on the left and right and the two pots on the top of the radio. Now you can extend them to their extremes and after that your radio will be calibrated. Now if you're unfamiliar with this particular version of OpenTX, you can adjust the widgets on your home screen by pressing the Tele button. And what I did here was I set up a split screen with my inputs over on the right and my model on the left. You can set up a number of different widgets, and I just thought this was a nice simple layout. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and drop a like. Thank you. Bye.